Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. High blood pressure is called a silent killer because there are no symptoms until someone has had a heart attack or stroke. In this video, I'll cover why check your blood pressure at home, what raises blood pressure, how to accurately measure your blood pressure, and current blood pressure guidelines. For decades, heart disease has been the leading cause of death in the United States and high blood pressure is the leading cause of heart attacks and strokes. High blood pressure is also called hypertension. About 80 million Americans have high blood pressure and about half don't know they have it. Another 80 million adult Americans have pre-hypertension. African Americans have a higher risk of developing high blood pressure. To prevent high blood pressure, you or your doctor must check it on a regular basis, especially if there is a family history of high blood pressure. How often should you check your blood pressure? At least once a year if it is normal and there is no family history of high blood pressure. If your doctor believes you have high blood pressure, check it at home two to three times during the week and share the readings with your doctor. Why bother checking your blood pressure at home? Studies indicate up to 30% of the readings done in a doctor's office are inaccurate and can be off by 20 points or more, indicating you have high blood pressure even though your blood pressure is normal. If your doctor believes you have high blood pressure, you can be placed on blood pressure medications for the rest of your life. Controlling high blood pressure can require two or more prescription blood pressure medications and some blood pressure medications can cause serious side effects that can put you in the hospital. Your blood pressure has two numbers written like this and read as 120 over 80. The upper number is called the systolic pressure, which is artery pressure when your heart pumps blood. The lower number is the diastolic pressure, the pressure on arteries when the heart is at rest. Blood pressure monitors, like your doctor, also record your pulse rate in beats per minute. Systolic and diastolic pressures are measured in millimeters of mercury. Whether your blood pressure is being measured at home or at your doctor's office, here are some blood pressure don'ts. Don't drink any caffeinated beverage, including the complimentary coffee in your doctor's office, before your blood pressure is measured, because caffeine elevates blood pressure. Don't measure your blood pressure within 30 minutes of smoking. Don't measure your blood pressure with a full bladder. It can raise your systolic pressure 10 to 15 points. Don't measure your blood pressure within 30 minutes of aerobic exercise. Sitting on an exam table or chair with no back support can raise your diastolic pressure. Don't measure your blood pressure within 30 minutes of eating. And don't omit telling your doctor about all medications you're taking, including over-the-counter medications and dietary supplements. Unlike blood pressure monitors used by many doctors, home blood pressure monitors are automatic and do not require a stethoscope. Cuff-style monitors are more accurate than wrist monitors that must be held at heart level for accurate measurements. Ignore commercials for wrist monitors that make using cuff monitors appear to be rocket science. Avoid low-cost monitors that tend to be less accurate. Your blood pressure is too important and accurate readings can keep you off a lifetime of blood pressure medication. Cuff monitors also give you the option of using AC power, which will save on battery cost. Most monitors have a memory that will store 30 or more readings including date, time, and blood pressure. When accessing a reading stored in memory, you'll get the month and date the reading was taken and the time of the reading. Monitors with memory require simple setup to set the date and time. Some monitors record readings for two or more users. Pushing the user button switches between user A and user B. You don't have to write down the results for either user as long as you don't clear the monitor's memory. Most monitors will also check for an irregular heartbeat while you're checking your blood pressure. For the most accurate reading, sit in a chair with your feet on the floor. 
If your feet don't touch the floor, use a footstool or other object so your feet are not dangling. Rest your back against the back of the chair. Do not sit on a chair without a back or with your back unsupported. Do not cross your legs while taking your blood pressure. If you've been active, rest 5 to 15 minutes before measuring your blood pressure. Rest your right or left arm or both arms on a table or other flat surface. And unlike most doctors, do not wrap the cuff over clothing, even thin clothing. Turn your monitor on by pressing the on or start button and wait until the monitor is ready to check your blood pressure. Wrap the cuff around your bare left arm as specified by the monitor manufacturer. The cuff for this monitor should be about one half inch above the elbow. If you do not install the cuff correctly, the monitor will stop and display an error message. If you get an error message, unwrap the cuff, reposition it if necessary, and then rewrap it securely around your arm. Press the button to turn the monitor off and clear the memory, and then press a second time to turn it back on. Wait until it's ready to take a reading and then press the button again to start measuring your blood pressure. Do not talk while measuring your blood pressure. Talking while measuring your blood pressure can increase the systolic measurement by up to 10 points. After the cuff has firmly inflated, it will begin to deflate. As the cuff deflates, the monitor will display your blood pressure. Your blood pressure, date, and time will be stored in memory. You can now remove the cuff from your arm and turn off your monitor. Now that you've measured your blood pressure, what do the numbers mean? Here are the current guidelines by the American Heart Association, and I want to emphasize that they are guidelines. While 120 over 80 or less is considered normal, the takeaway from this chart is how easily 20 points can take you from prehypertension to high blood pressure stage one and possibly placed on blood pressure medication. For an accurate baseline blood pressure measurement at home, check it in the morning before drinking any caffeinated beverages and after emptying your bladder. Check it at night at least 30 minutes after your last meal. Check it two to three times during the first week and check it weekly or monthly after the first week. And see your doctor if your blood pressure consistently exceeds 140 over 90. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching.